Hey, Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makakwadash, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles with great millstone who has swam in this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the Akim across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth and rest a lot to do. So it's going to be a quick video. Lord willing, the video is edifying. Lord willing, I can get something from this video. Um, I kind of want to get into uh, um, the missiles again, man, and um, really, you know, exaggerate this point, man, and, and really, like, really bring out, you know, the scriptures is, is what the scriptures is talking about. The scriptures is talking about a fire, you know, destroying, that destroying wind. Matter of fact, a fire destroying this place, man. A fire talks about uh the scriptures talk about you know um you know a fire uh, destroying this place man and you got to understand what is that talking about you got to understand what is it what does it mean you know because we understand that the first go around was was the first uh, way the world was destroyed was what by way of water well America's gonna be destroyed by way of fire. Right, and the Most High's the the strangeness of it of His salvation is gonna be out here for people to see, man. Okay, this is um Jeremiah fifty one one. It says, "Thus saith the Lord Yahweh: Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up me a destroying wind, and will send unto Babylon's fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land." For in the day of, of trouble, they shall be against her round about. Against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. That bow is talking about what? That bow is talking about thermonuclear missiles, man. Okay? And the, the that's why scriptures say the beast shall hate the whore. Because when you read back in 2, it says, uh, and, and will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. That day is talking about them other nations, man, sending them, uh, sending them plagues on, uh, on uh, America, man, which that plague is thermonuclear missiles, man. When you get into that bow, that bow is talking about, because you could pursue, you could read that bow about that bow uh, in Second Address, which we'll get, I feel like we'll get it right now, you know, just to back up my point, man, you know. Right here, this is Second Ezra 16. And 13, it says, uh, For strong is the right hand that bendeth the bolt, his arrows that he shooteth, shooteth are sharp, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot. And when they begin to be shot until one ends, it's like it, when they begin to be shot until the ends of the world. Okay, so that when that bow is getting ready to be shot to the ends of the world, that bow is talking about thermonuclear missiles. That bow is not talking about, you know, a, a, a actual bow, you know. It's 14, it says, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. So it's talking about a bow that's a plague. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's further read down. This is 15. It says, The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundations of the earth. So you're talking about a bow getting shot from one part of the earth to the other side of the earth that, that kindles a fire? You know, what else could that be? I don't get what else, what else could that be? You know that what 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 that's thermonuclear missiles. Now, of course, there's no no um, word for thermonuclear missiles in the scriptures. That's why you got to use, you know, our today terminology for the things that the scriptures is talking about. These these weapons weren't made in vain. So, you know, it's a lot of events that take place. You know, you got like you know the end of the you know so called uh, the end of this this virus. You know, the, you know, people are going out now. People are you know taking their mask off now and things of that nature. No matter what state you think America is in, it always, always, always remember its judgment. Okay? Always remember America's judgment. This place will be an example on how not to live and how the ungodly was unpunished, man. Trust me. Okay? Trust the scriptures. Okay? It says, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. <clears throat> 16, it says, <coughs> it says, like as an arrow 
which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. It's so like as an arrow when it is shot. Fuck you. Like an arrow when it is shot returning not backward, so is that missile. So is those plagues that's going to be shot. They ain't going to be able to return. There ain't going to be no stop button on them. Okay? Once they be shot, they're shot. It's done. Okay? It says, woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? This is 18. It says, the beginning of sorrows and great mourning is the beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evil. So what shall I do when these, uh, when these evils shall come? Okay, and so he was asking, inquiring, like, damn, who going? Because he knows Edris is back today, believe it or not. Edris is back today, prophesying somewhere. Because if not, why would he say in 18? Why would he say that in 18? You know, why would he say, what shall I do when these evils shall come? He knew reincarnation is in the scriptures. That's another video for another time, but reincarnation is in the scriptures. You can read that, um, it's on the Revelations, the, or no, Matthew, the first chapter. You know, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Figure out this real quick. Let's get Malachi 4 and 1. It says, Behold, uh, it's like it. Uh, it says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all that pr and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, said the Lord Yahweh of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you uh, that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the star. Okay? And it says, And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. And the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord, how of hosts. Okay? So yeah, we're going to tread down the wicked, man. You know, a little willing, I'm part of that number. You know, the Lord's man is going to tread down the wicked. Okay, but let's read the point in four. It says, for the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Well, guess what? It says what? That all that do, all that, all that is proud and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Okay? So what, uh, what, are, what device will make, what device will make these, will turn these people into powder? What, do, what device will burn these people. What is it talking about? Okay, it's talking about thermal nuclear missiles, man. Okay? Thermal nuclear missiles, man. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. This is uh, Zechariah 14 and 12. It says, And this shall be the plague where with the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand on, upon their feet. Okay? You got to ask yourself, what could device will make their flesh consume away? Okay, let me keep reading. reading. It says, uh, And their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongues shall consume away in their mouth. Okay, so these things, man, look. These things are happening, man. You know, these things, well, this thing is finna happen. Okay, this is about to happen, man. You know, these people is finna melt. You know, all, you know, but first before the missiles come, all hell's gonna break loose. You know? And then the, the missile is going to be the end all be all. So you two third niggas who didn't die during, uh, you know, these times that is approaching. Best believe them, if you ain't delivered out of here, the missile is going to get that ass. Okay, they definitely going to get you, man. You know, if you're not right with the Lord. That's why it's best to get right with the Lord to the best.